Hey guys, it's Miss Nelson. Miss Hall. And today we are going to go over how to graph inequalities on a number line. Okay, so we gave you your handout um, in class. Go ahead and you should have folded it. Um, you can cut them so they have separate pieces to open. So we are going to start with the equal sign. Okay, so if you open it up, it says equal. Now the problem that I'm going to give you is x equals 4. Okay, so this is something that you would use whenever you have an equation because inequalities do not have equal signs. So this is a good example for equations. So if I have a number line, I'm going to put 0 in the middle. I'm going to put 5 on the right and negative 5 on the left. Okay, now I want my answer to be at a positive 4. So I would find 4 on the number line. And because I know it is exactly 4, no more, no less, I am going to draw a closed circle on 4. I don't have any lines coming off of it or any arrows. And I'm going to label this as a closed circle, just so you know. Okay, that means that we have one definite answer, and that answer is at 4 only. Okay, let's close that one. Let's go to the next one. This one is greater than. Now, remember, it's important to remember that we know which sign it is depending on which way it's facing and how it is with our variable. So on this one, if I have x is greater than 4, okay, that means that my inequality sign is opening up to my x. So again, I'm going to put my 0, my 5, and my negative 5 just as my placeholders. And now I want any number that is greater than 4, okay? So I know I need to find 4 on the number line. However, there are an infinite number or a whole lot of numbers that are greater than 4. So this time I'm going to circle my 4, but I'm not going to shade it in because if I shade it in, that means that 4 is my only answer that I can have. So I leave an open circle and I'm going to point an arrow to all the numbers that are greater than 4. So we call this an open circle graph because you see again, my, gra my circle right here on my 4 is open. Okay, let's go to the next one. So the opposite of what we just did is less than. And we're going to use the same number. So x is less than 4. Okay, I have my 0, my 5, and my negative 5. So now we kind of change the way we're thinking about it. And I want all the numbers that are less than 4. So 4 is still important. It's still going to be there. So I know I'm going to circle it. But now, thinking which direction to draw your graph, if I start calling out numbers that are less than 4, it's 0, it's negative 1, it's negative 5, it's negative 10. So those numbers are on this side of the number line. So this is why my arrow points this way, because all these numbers are less than negative 4. I'm sorry, positive 4. And again, it is an open circle, because 4 is not included in this set. We only want the numbers less than 4. Okay, so now I'm going to, we're going to go to our next example, which is greater than or equal to. And again, um, we're going to, so what they did when they did greater than or equal to is they took the greater than sign and they took the equal to sign and they combined those signs together and that's where they got greater than or equal to. So the little line that goes num underneath the greater than sign means that it's um, equal to as well as being greater to. So I'm going to just draw my number line over here. I'm going to have a 0, 5, and negative 5 as my placeholders. Then I'm going to, we're also going to do x is greater than or equal to 4. So now I'm going to go to my 4 so this time, we're, we're all the numbers that are greater than 4, but it's also equal to 4, so we're including 4. So when you include 4, just like when we did the equal at the very beginning, we, we put a closed circle. We're including 4, but then we're also including all numbers greater than 4. And one way to remember which way to point your arrow, which way to draw your arrow. If your x is first, it actually goes the same direction as your um, sign up here. So see how that points to the right? This goes to the right as well. Okay, our last one is less than or equal to. And again, they combined that equal to, um, I mean the less than sign and the equal sign. And so we're going to do x less than or equal to 4. We're going to 
do our number line. And we're going to mark 4 again. Now, we're including 4, so it's going to be a closed circle because we are including 4. And this time we want all numbers less than 4, so our arrow points to the left because that is all numbers less than 4. Okay, if you have any questions, bring them tomorrow. Bye. Bye.